power of the words, my god. I'm so sorry. Alright. Talk less to my hands. Today. Not because nothing does, but because change is constantly spread over every day, hour, second. Another way of measuring time you can name. Someone studying a book of linguistics asked me to think of this as thinking of every noun I know, every town, street, or item, as a type of verb instead, so that a wooden table isn't lifeless when it holds a flickering candle. It's reborn from a felled tree's form to rise and perform an act like Atlas holding up the sky. Although new beginnings are best observed from a still point, like what I felt on paths in Riverwood Park, guiding hikes through forests and ravines along the Credit River, while volunteering for the transition into the role of a teacher, like the land's change from a private estate to a space from the city showing stillness's place amidst innovation, where tall grass grows over old farm gear, and an empty field by the entrance becomes a floral terrace, or former gardens of Babylon hanging through time's continuum. Thank you so much. Woo!